what sort of health secretary hands out contracts for PPE to his pub landlord, a pub called, and I'm not making this up, The Cock Inn? A few weeks ago in Business Question, the Leader of the House referred to the former Health Secretary as, and I quote, a successful genius. Does the Leader wish to amend this judgment? This May, the rules were there should be no indoor social gathering of two or more people from different households, and we've all seen the CCTV footage of the former Health Secretary and the former non-executive director of his then department. That's not a work meeting. Mr Speaker. I think the Honourable Lady's Fox was shot some time ago because the, uh, my right-on friend is the former Health Secretary. And the word former is quite an important one. He has been replaced, as we've had references to association football, by the super sub, the Jack Grealish of politics in the form of my right-on friend, the new uh, Secretary of State, who has come on uh, with great effect and great panache already. And the uh, Honourable Lady uh, challenges me on what I said about the great genius of the former Secretary of State. And I do stick by that, because he worked incredibly hard for 15 months. But if I may resort to Dryden once again, the Honourable Lady will know that great wits are short of madness near allied, and thin partitions do their bounds divide. And unfortunately, he made a grave mistake, for which, because the rules are enforced face fairly, he resigned, and he resigned the day after the story was printed in the newspapers. And here we get the splitting of hairs between the resignation and the sacking. The man has gone. He has lost his job, as has the non-executive director in the Department of Health, uh, with whom he seemed to be closely associated. And that is quite the right way for it to have happened. The honor right honourable gentleman, my right honourable friend, is no longer in office. And then the Honourable Lady complains about uh, procurement. Well, this is not what the opposition was saying a year ago, when it was said the government specifically was asked if it would now commit to provide local public health services and public health England with whatever it needs to build up the test, trace and isolate regime so obviously needed. A strong demand uh, from the opposition that that should take place very quickly, and of course it was done quickly. What did the uh, opposition do? It set out ten proposals for the government. Very helpful. In number three was test, test, test. For testing to be effective, government should provide capacity for widespread regular community testing. Everyone showing systems, symptoms should be able to access a test within 24 hours. On and on it goes, asking the government to do what exactly the government was doing. And now, a year later, they complain that we did it quickly. What did they want? They wanted us to do it with torpor, with inactivity, with idleness, where we wouldn't have got very far with it uh, if we had. So, last year we should do whatever it takes, and this year doing whatever it takes was wrong. And, Mr Speaker, there is a word for that. But it's not parliamentary, so I won't use it. 